talking about, uh, you know, behind the scenes, talking <laughs> with Shireen, because there's so much, I haven't seen her in about three years, and it's a lot, I don't even know where to start, because you get overwhelmed, uh, obviously we're talking about, you know, cancer, this is a word that is a very scary, uh, and she's been through it, yeah. and she's a warrior, and, and she's a fighter, she never <laughs> gives up, and she goes to the end, this woman, is, she's not going to give up. Uh, but we, I want to talk about that, the day that you found out, where you were, how was it, what happened. Please, talk to me about it. I can tell you like exactly what happened, right? Please. So um, I was sitting in this uh, restaurant in my building, and the, um, the chef comes up to me and whispers in my ear. I'm like, what is she doing? She's like, your boob fell out of your bra. You know, I was wearing a tank top. I'm like, oh, my God. So I cover it up, and then I go... You know, I go um, into the bathroom and I come to push it, you know, put my boot back in the bra. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden I felt, oh, my God, you know, what is that? And, you know, and I am very familiar with my body. I didn't feel it before. And it literally felt like a hard boiled egg underneath my skin. And I, you know, I'm like, no, I can't, it's, you know, cancer is not like that. Cancer is hard and irregular. And this popped up out of nowhere. So... And I couldn't sleep all night. I, you know, I was I couldn't wait until nine in the morning when my OB was going to be in his office. So I called um, and got a prescription for a mammogram. Got a mammogram two days later, and at the mammogram and sonogram, the radiologist, same radiologist that um, diagnosed Hoda Kotb, he comes wow. in, and they never come in. They send the results to your OB. Your OB calls you. Right. He walks in, and very calm, gentle man. He looks at me, and he said okay, you're gonna go to the front desk and you are going to tell them that even though we're full tomorrow, that we need to get you in first thing in the morning before everyone else for an urgent core biopsy. Oof. My world just, my stomach just, right. you know, and the next morning I went in, he did the biopsy and um, it was a Friday and he said that they're gonna rush the results for Monday but he just, again, held my hands and he said, I know what this is and it isn't good. He said, oh. he said the word chemo and surgery and urgent. It, oh God, all of a sudden I'm thinking, you know, I'm a sensory, I'm a method actor. Right. So thinking of these things brings that feeling back. But right, right. yeah, it's, it's all of a sudden, you know, the sky was no longer above my head. It was beneath my feet. It was, you know, just, what happened when you got home the same day, Shireen? I, when you took a shower, when you were by yourself, by your own, with your thoughts, what you, you were thinking? Do you know what was, r the one thing I remember is I went to take a shower and I couldn't touch my breasts. I, I was afraid to, uh -huh. and I couldn't look at them. I couldn't even put, you know, it, I was so afraid because it, it, it just, it was almost like a, I'm really, embarrassed of this now, but it was almost like a child that misbehaved that I was ignoring. Right. You know, and I, uh, it was, it was, it, it was pretty devastating. And then I just sat on the couch and I became like an emotionless zombie. Right. I, I couldn't, you know. Could it, is it sleeping? What about sleeping? I couldn't and sleep. You couldn't sleep I couldn't sleep. All. No. no. I couldn't feel, sleep. No I couldn't. for sleeping either. No, 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 no. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. I couldn't. You know, it was almost like I think the self-protective mechanism kicked in because right. I couldn't be affected in any way, you know, laugh, cry, nothing. It was like... You're untouchable. To some it, yeah. It just... Scary. Very scary. It's... You feel like you're free-falling. Right. You can't... Nothing... There's nothing to hold on to. There's nothing... Right. To right. make you feel grounded. Nothing that tells you, okay, you could take a step now and the ground won't fall. Right. There was no ground. There was right. nothing to hold on to. Now it was just. It's a different Shireen now. <laughs> before and after. Yeah, Certainly. yeah. Absolutely. I mean, how I mean, could there not it, be? It, it, going through that process, mm -hmm. now going through, through the chemo. How no. was the experience shaving your 
like I said, I seen it on YouTube. <laughs> you got those. I seen the, uh, one of the clips with Gabe and yeah, and Gabe Julie and Mary and yeah, and Mary, Fasino, Mary, Mary Fasino. So sending our regards to Mary Fasino. Mary Fasino, one of my angels. Please, can we? Yeah, uh, let's Mary, give it, yeah, Mary, 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 Mary. You yeah. know, the cancer actually let, made me realize what a gift to my life she was. Yeah. And is and oh. she's a wonderful human being, a wonderful woman. unbelievable human being, unbelievable woman, she unbelievable. She has such a great heart. Yes, yeah, such a great heart. The sense of humanity. Yeah, and you know she um, she's a Reiki master, and she and my oncologist agrees. She played a very pivotal role in in my my um, healing. Right, and your recovery. Uh, my and my yes. recovery. Everything. Everything. There were things, um, complications that arose that uh, my doctor couldn't fix, mm -hmm. and Mary, Mary stepped in, and you know, hand in hand, she was right there. She was right there. Let's talk about the chemo, shaving your head. Oh, chemo! Well, you it know, didn't scare you to shave your head, like you know, like I, how do I, I mean? It was so, you know, at first I, I was crying and my hand was shaking and then I started doing it and I was crying and laughing at the same time. Yeah. But, you know, I, I just knew that I didn't want to do it crying in a bathroom or all by myself in a bathroom. So I threw a party. Yeah, good I you. had talented friends, Adam and Shira. Shout out to Adam and Shira. They came and sang and played their guitar. Uh -huh. I had a bunch of friends and family and I was surrounded by more love than I could handle. Yeah. You know, so and I shaved it, and you did it. I did it. You did it. Going I did it. Chemo. Let's talk about that. The process. Chemo. How many days? Um, well, I had eight eight sessions eight of sessions. chemo that uh, took four months, and so you get the chemo. Um, it's horrible. It's this poison that goes through your system, and right. uh, basically, what chemo does is it literally is killing you, but. It, and the, they say, hopefully it the kills the cancer rate. before it kills you. Yeah. Right, right. It um, destroys your immune system, your, the nausea. It's, it's so hard to explain. You, um, so you get it. And for me, it hit me about 36 hours later. Like I'd be talking to you and all of a sudden it's like, uh -huh. it's, it's like, oh, I can't, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and I was down for about three days, extremely nauseous, very sick. Um, it, everything hurt. If you like whew, went like that, your skin hurt. Everything hurt. Uh -huh. um, and each chemo, so you recover from it, then you get hit again. Each chemo, you get hit lower and lower. Uh -huh. You get worse and worse. I can't. <laughs> I'm just hearing you talking. It was how many sessions? Eight sessions. Eight sessions, yeah. And it was about how many months? Four months. Four months. Four months. So you, you will go once a week, twice a week? Once, once every other week. week. Once every other week. Yeah. Yeah. On the Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Wednesday, on Tuesdays. Yeah. How many hours? The first four was about all in all from the time I went in, uh, got, you know, hooked up to the juice and uh, then they unhooked me. It was about four hours. Mm -hmm. And the last four was about six, seven hours. It's a different drug. They gave me two drugs, the first four, and a completely different drug, the last four. You were writing things down during the process, Shireen? Yeah, I was. I, I videoed it. You know, I you think did. I was, I'll be honest, I'll be honest. You know, I was afraid I was going to die. Yeah. And I was, I just needed to leave something behind. I never got, I hadn't gotten married. I'm still not married, but never had kids. I felt, oh my God, I'm... <laughs> I'm dying and I, I need to leave something behind. Right. What if, what if I, you know. Yeah. It's so I, powerful to hear you <laughs> talking, baby. Give me your paw. I don't want to be like Oprah because, <laughs> God damn it, I'm not Oprah Winfrey. No. But you know what? This is so powerful. It is so powerful to see you. When I was checking those YouTube, uh, <laughs> man, it grabs your heart because it's like literally you were facing death. Yep. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and what does it happen to you, to your heart, your soul, when you go through that? What happens to your system, to your Shireen? Well, you know, it, 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 like we, we know ourselves to a certain degree, but until yeah. we face adversity, oh, until we yes. face the emptiness, yeah, yeah. then what we know what we're about. What do you learn yeah. about you? Oh, okay. God, What's so the much. kicker? What was the, oh, God. I'll tell you, the most, uh, first of all, if I can share with you Please. and share with your wonderful audience, crying is not weakness. Of course Owning not. Owning your emotion is the 
strong as you can be. It's, yeah. you know, when you shut down so you don't feel, that's not strong. Right. So that's if I get emotional, yeah, it's, it's, it's a mask. It's, you know, it's a coat of armor that keeps you from feeling your emotions, which I think is, is, is a sign of weakness, actually. Yes. But um, what, well what I, uh, <laughs> I, the most amazing thing I realized, I was talking to my best friend, Tim, Tim Davis, who yes. you know. I was He's on still the, in L.A., right? In L.A., yeah. I was on the phone. I was crying. I'm like, when is this going to end? Oh, my God. This just feels. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is a joke. This is a joke. I can't. Don't worry. We're going to keep. Okay. We, we continue. But this is exactly what I'm telling you when we talk about time. Yeah. We just <laughs> sit down and I'm getting into it. I'm getting warmed up. Oh, are we done? And well, the credits are the the first half hour is done, but we continue for another twenty minutes. But this is like <laughs> I'm speechless. I can't half hour gone like that. Oh, really? Yeah, but that's okay. We we continue. We we going. We wrap it up, and we will see you guys next week. But we continue. This conversation is still going. So let's not panic. Let's breathe, and the thing is hot. I'm not bragging. It is. It, it is very.